morning guys, welcome to Revan Auto 717. Um, this video, I'm trying to get the sun out of my face. Uh, this video uh, is going to be a little different. I got a lot of running to do. Um, this is Saturday. Um, so, got a lot of things to tell you about the uh, about the channel right now. I'm trying to figure out which direction I want to go with it and kind of want your guys' input as well. I'm trying to make this channel grow and uh, need your guys' input on uh, exactly what I should do and what I should put my efforts and my uh, time and money into. So uh, with that due said, um, I'm going to start off with working on the truck here, uh, the little 1996 Jimmy. Uh, the hood uh, is stuck closed. Um, I tried to use the cable and I think the cable came undone or snapped or something, whatever. So um, I'm going to try to do little bit of rigging to see if I can get this thing done undone and then I uh, need to charge the battery the battery's dead so uh, yeah I'm gonna try to do that and also I'm trying gonna try to get a window today for it and uh, just gonna kind of take you along with the journey and uh, try to talk to you guys and see what you guys think thoughts are um, so I'm just gonna kind of go from here and I'm gonna show you what I'm working on so uh, we'll stay tuned Okay guys, so um, I made this little doodad here and try to see if I can get up in here and uh, pop this lock open. So I'm um, probably not going to show you the whole thing, but it's going to probably take me a while to do this. Okay guys, so obviously, um, obviously you can see I popped, got this thing popped, and I had to use, I had to find one that was really, really thick, um, a coat hanger that was super extra thick, so uh, my wife might be missing a uh, really heavy duty coat hanger, but um, I had the other one I was working with um, just did not work. Um, I just had a regular coat hanger, and it was just not strong enough, it kept on bending. Um, so, and you have to put a slight, um, angle to it to get it to open. So, um, basically you have to get it in here, and I'll show you now, since now that it's open. And it looks like there's, a a lot of tension here. I'm going to try to spray it, um. But basically, you have to get this thing in here, and there's a hook back in here, I'll show you, um, and then pull it, and uh, get it enough that it'll unlock. So I'm going to take you off here, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right here, you can see that this has a lot of tension. Get this out of the way. You can see that uh, the rod here has a lot of tension. And there's supposed to be a spring there, but you can see the spring is all pretty much just, it's not working at all. So I'm going to have to get something in there to tighten that up. So when you pull it, that this is going to open up properly. Um, but basically this right here, there's a rod that comes up to this and it uh, pops this open. And uh, that's what was um, sticking. So I'm going to now, my battery sh um, needs to be charged, so I'm going to come out here and hopefully get this thing charged and then I can work on the window back here um, my main goal here is to get all this undone and then figure out exactly what I need to do here and then make sure I have all the tools that way when I go to the junkyard today I can have all the tools and I won't be missing anything so I'm gonna do that and uh, should be pretty good okay guys so um, I just got some WD um, and I just sprayed it up really good, wiped it off. Um, I actually took this off, and the spring looked fine. It's actually a, it almost looks a, uh, it goes really narrow and then comes out and then comes in and then comes out and then comes in. So I guess the spring looks is fine. I guess it's kind of designed that way. It just looks like it's all messed up. But I just took the cable off and uh, cleaned it up a little bit, wiped it down, cleaned this up, sprayed this up really good, and I just locked it, and uh, everything looks. Looks to be working good. 
So now I'm just going to try to charge my battery a little bit and uh, hopefully that will help it. Um, I'm not sure when this battery is good to. doesn't say a date. Um, no, I don't see a date on it. But uh, maybe I'll have to get a battery for this thing. Who knows? Um, but it has been sitting for a while. So I'm just going to kind of go over everything. I'm going to check the air filter on it and uh, everything like that and just make sure everything look, is looking good. And these are just like little wing nuts on, that hold this. It looks like there's probably four of them, one on each corner. So it looks like it has a brand new filter on it. Um, I was kind of surprised. How, yeah, I mean it's freaking brand new. That's good. One last thing I gotta get for it. But I'm gonna reorient this thing. And uh see. okay guys, so I got all this done. I'm going to um, vacuum this up a little bit with all this glass. And as I lose stuff, but I'm just gonna kinda go through all this back uh, all this stuff I got in the back end here and just throw away the stuff I do not need. And then I'm going to take this, start taking this apart. So uh, let's do it. Okay guys, so I'm going to pull this outer lip here all the way on. i do this with the this door shut. Okay, so I'm going to take my knife and just kind of go along here and uh, There it is, folks. Oh, that was a pain. Hey guys, so you can see that this is all taken off. Gonna have to go and get the window and then I'll come back and I'll get any more. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, I just got the window done and uh, I figured out everything that I need to do. So now I have to um, run to the bank and uh, then I have to fill up. I am almost on E and uh, then I'm gonna meet the guy with the Jimmy. Um, had a little bit of issues with the title. And uh, just got to figure that out, and then uh, should be pretty good. So uh, let's hey uh, keep on so going. I just got off the bank, uh, put in the cash. Now I'm going to um, back down to where I bought the uh, the Jimmy. Um, had a little bit of issues with uh, getting the title over. Um, he just signed the back and uh, didn't get it notarized. And uh, sorry, I did have a Jolly Rancher. The <laughs> I know one of the girls there, and she uh, she had to, she always gives me Jolly Ranchers. So. <laughs> but anyways, um, but he didn't have the, uh, I wasn't thinking when I did it, and he didn't have his uh, signature uh, notarized. So now, I gotta freaking drive all the way back down there and meet him at the notary and get it, the signature notarized, and while I'm there, I'm just gonna get everything done. I do have a plate from the Regal, and I do have all that stuff, so hopefully I can just use the plate from the Regal, that way you don't have to pay for that. And then I am meeting a guy at a pizza shop and I'll probably get some pizza there uh, for lunch. Um, but anyways, he has some seats for the golf cart. 
Um, so they're off of a Razor, I think RZR or something like that, 900. Um, pretty cool looking seats. Um, he's selling them for 100 bucks. So um, I already tried to negotiate. He was selling them originally for like 150, and I've got it down to 100. So I'm gonna while I'm down there. It's only like 20 minute drive to uh, this sh this uh, pizza place. So I'm just gonna do that, and then um, possibly I was looking. Well, I figured out how much of a pain in the ass the uh, um, taking the window off that was already broken. So I don't think I'm gonna go to you pull it. I I found a guy that has one, but it's a uh, good ways away. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, go there. He has one for 20 bucks. So I think I'm just gonna drive there and uh, pick that up and um, do that and then come back and then hopefully I can put it on quick. Hey guys, uh, so I uh, just got out of church a little bit ago. Uh, wanted to do a little video. Um, kind of didn't really touch. Um, so yesterday kind of was a little crazy. Um, I was saying that I had to go to get the Jimmy, the title, got that all straightened out. Um, the title's um, now at the DMV, um, so that's all taken care of. Then I went and got the seats, which I'll show you guys a picture um, over here. Um, it's pretty sweet looking. I'm really excited for that. Um, and then finally, um, um, I was not able to get the um, glass, so I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with the glass for the Jimmy. Um, just had some stuff come up and uh, just wasn't able to go. Um, the guy was kind of, uh, wouldn't really help uh, me. And it was a good two hour drive to get it where I'm gonna spend 20 bucks. And I was looking online, you can get them for like 70 or nine, 70 to $90. So um, I'm thinking about just ordering something and uh, just having it come in and uh, pray that it won't be, um, broken or anything like that so um, I'm thinking about just doing that and uh, being done with it so um, just kind of got screwed over there so um, currently I taped up the uh, j the uh, hole in the Jimmy and uh, hopefully I'll have something um, in a week or so I don't know how long it's gonna take um, to get something um, from uh, eBay or something like that so um, but I'm still uh, lurk, looking for a passenger rear uh, window um, for that. So um, hopefully in the next week or so I'll have that and I can put that on. And then I can get the thing inspected and um, I can get it, things going and uh, get it sold. So um, I guess I'm going to have to stop the video here. Um, so we got a little bit of stuff done. Got the, uh, the hood open. So if you uh, ever have an issue with uh, the hood... Um, getting stuck. Um, there's some ways to do it. Um, just need a big clothes hanger and um, shouldn't have any issues. And then just uh, trying to pop the, uh, get all that plastic off. There's very, basically zero um, screws except for the, uh, the Torx bit on the, um, on the passenger rear um, uh, seat belt. So um, besides that, I mean, um, it wasn't too uh, hard to do. Um, I know it was really hard to get that off. It was very, uh, definitely tightened really good. So, um, but all in all, it wasn't too bad. So, um, but yeah, I guess I'm gonna uh, cut the video here for this week. And uh, hopefully this upcoming week, I will uh, get some parts in and I can uh, continue working on the Jimmy and um, on the golf cart. So uh, stay tuned and uh, look forward to, uh, Talking to you guys.